Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it is for you, welcome back to another Division 2 video. My name is Prime and we're gonna dive into the video straight away, talking about one of the new additions to Year 5 that will come out in June. And this is all seen on the PTS that just went live. And look at this guys, we're getting a new exotic assault rifle the variant of the m4 and look how beautiful it is guys look at this that whole moving part around it with the electricity inside it it is just a banger of a gun a banger of a gun and they did a great job if you ask me as you can see if we zoom in a little bit more you will see that there is a little bit of a um, static inside of the gun barrel right you'll see it right there and this looks so freaking dope so let's get over all the stats Again, I'm just jumping right in. There's gonna be a short and quick video. So let's jump right over. The gun is called the Saint Elmo's engine. And it reads, sometimes the most beautiful and dangerous phenomenon is natural. And it's from an ominous source. So jumping over to the core stats on my build and it's not really built because we are on the PTS right now. It's a total damage of 70 2.6 k 892 rpm and a mag of 70 yes guys we're getting an m4 with a mag of 70 then we have the attributes with it the assault rifle damage health damage and rate of fire i already checked it out to see if we can maybe switch a few attributes around on the new exotics but we couldn't maybe it comes in the future but for now we're getting assault rifle damage health damage and then the third attribute will be rate of fire we'll love to see some damage to target out of cover but that's why our rpm is around 892 then going over to the weapon handling looks pretty good as the stability the accuracy is pretty high up there as well and then we have a reload time of two seconds but then jumping over to the talent guys and this is crazy actum est shooting an enemy with this weapon will give you one stack at 100 stacks the next magazine will be filled with shock ammo guys this is going to be crazy so we're not doing an extra damage output but we're shocking enemies with the next magazine that we put in our gun Next to that, we will have the mods. We will get a 20% critical hit damage, 30 extra rounds, 20% weapon handling, and 20% critical hit chance. So it's pretty high up there. And like I said, guys, look at this gun. This just looks freaking phenomenal. And I'm glad the devs came out with this gun. And of course, a lot, a lot more. But we're going to focus on this gun right now. So let's jump over to the shooting range and let me show you how this gun works. And there we are guys at the shooting range. Let me show you what I'm rocking with real quick. And again, like I said, I'm on the PTS. This is not really a build. This is just five pieces of Providence with one piece of Seska. And then of course running that gun, the St. Elmo's engine. So like it said that... If we're shooting enemies up to a stack of 100, the next magazine will be filled with shock ammo. So, let's test it out. I put it on Invulnerable Elite and let's shoot some bodies, shall we? I already have the shock ammo because I was already up to there. And now we know something about it as well. The proc will not go away. Doesn't matter where you go, if you reload... If you just go to a different battle, the proc will still be there. So it won't be 100 bullets in one fight. You can use the bullets wherever you like. So, as you can see, down there underneath my ammo, you will see that little True Patriot buff. That's probably gonna be a placeholder because this is still the PTS. A lot of things are subject to change. But if we shoot it, you'll see that it... it it goes up, it goes up, it goes up, it goes up, and then we're gonna stack the talent again. But after we shot our last 32 bullets, let me see, bang, we're reloading. And now you will see it will jump up with the 70 bullets of shock rounds. 
So if we now fire, you will see this enemy is shocked for a couple of seconds. But you can keep going and shocking people. There are probably a few combinations that we can get with the new seasons. And with the old seasons, there are a lot of builds going through my mind right now. But this is a great, great addition. So if you want to be updated by everything happening in the Division Universe, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button to push me out a little bit further in the YouTube algorithm. But that's it guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.